At this point, we can start working with the actual visualizations that are available in RAW. I'm going to start by opening a data set because right now it doesn't show us much of anything. But as soon as I get a data set, and in this example, I'm going to use music. As soon as that opens up, then if we come down here, you see we have this really big array of very fancy looking charts available to us. And then we have dimensions, and then we have a space where the visualization is actually going to show. Now, one thing that's important is if we come back up to these charts, you will notice that like, there are no bar charts and pie charts. That's on purpose. The people who made Ross specifically said, well, you can do those in other things like Excel. We're going to focus on things that are harder to do in other programs so you can get an idea of some of the sophistication that's available. And so we're going to start with what I'm calling time and flow diagrams. The first one we're going to use is called a small multiple. And we actually got to come down here a little bit. This is a small multiple. If I click on that, then what happens is the options down here change to the variables that work in a small multiple, it says a group, date and size. And these are the variables that are in the data set, there's only three of them. But let me show you how this works. When we pick the visualization, what we get is a list of the variables that are in the data set, we only have three in this particular data set. And we have the placeholders that the visualization can take the variables. So here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to start by taking one media, which means is it a CD an LP a download, whatever. And I'm going to drag that over to group. And when I do that, you see that the visualization window right here has put in a blanks list of titles right here. And then you see that there's going to be colors associated with each one of these, but otherwise the canvas is blank. So what I do then is I get year and I drag that over to date. And it fills it in with bars that are all exactly the same except for their color. So you know, that's it's kind of pretty, but it doesn't tell us much of anything. By the way, the fact that this is in yellow, and we get this little error message, you should only use dates here. Yeah, that, that's true. This is in fact, however, a date and I can tell you it's going to work properly. So we can ignore that one. And then I'm going to take this third variable market share, and I'm going to drag it over here into size, and then you'll see how the visualization changes below. And now what has happened is we get sort of for each form of medium for music, we get its peak. So each of these little charts, these are many repeated charts, has the same peak, it goes up to the maximum height of the bar. So we see for instance, DVD audio, well, it had its maximum during this period right here. Subscription started at this point, you see eight tracks tapering off way over here. And so you can see where each medium starts where it peaks where it stops. On the other hand, it doesn't give you any feel for the relative popularity of each medium. I have to admit, I don't even know what SACD is, or I've never heard of getting music from a kiosk. So let's come over here and say use the same scale. And now what we get is they're all put relative to each other. And you see, for instance, that LPs were really popular at the beginning of the data set around 1970. And then CDs were popular for a really long time. Now this only goes to 2010. And so the subscription and the downloads show the beginning of the digital online music era. But this is a really nice, simple diagram that makes it easy to see a whole bunch of different categories, and to see how they change over time. So it's called small multiples, several repetitions of the same kind of chart. And so this is a great way of starting in raw and getting a nice impression of the data over time for multiple variables. And that's the strong advantage of small multiples, which are so easy to do here in raw.